It is February, which means love is in the air, right? And so are Mardi Gras beads. You make the connection there. In tonight's Sacramento Speaks, we hear from one man getting over the Niners devastation loss by looking forward to Valentine's Day. We're going all over the board here with the Sacramento Speaks, and he's talking about Sacramento's Mardi Gras carnival as well. Let's roll it. Well, people's wallets are hurting. I think, you know, when I was uh, going to college like uh, a couple years ago, I always thought that having a creative date was, was, was nice. You don't have to go to a fancy restaurant and expensive bottle of wine. I lived in San Francisco, so I found a place where I would take my date or my girl to a little picnic out near the beach or, and just make it so romantic. True love really is not expensive. True love is just really simple and beautiful. You know how I spend my uh, weekends? Coming to the Mardi Gras Carnival. And it's a great event. She's put on, on Louisiana Sue's put it on a couple of years and it's been great. Like, uh, la like last year or two years ago, she started here in uh, Old Sacramento and they came, the parade came all the way down from the capital. Sacramento wants to keep Mardi Gras Carnival going. This is a great tradition in Sacramento. You want it to stay and you want it here because Sacramento, Old Sacramento, that's what it's all about. So uh, that's uh, Mardi, Gras, uh, Mardi Gras Carnival. February 24th, Saturday starts at 11, I believe, and goes to around 7 o'clock. So be here. Don't be square. Go uh, 49ers next year. <laughs>